Welcome back to the transplant medications video. During your transplant stay, you will receive a sheet of paper that describes how to take your medications. This is called a med planner. This med planner will help you understand your medication regimen so that you can learn your medication names, doses, timing, and reasons for taking them. At the top of the med planner, your name, date of birth, and allergies will be listed. Additionally, there is a date on the top right-hand corner. If you ever end up with multiple copies of this med planner, make sure you are following the most up-to-date version. The med planner may also have a picture of the medications to help you identify it. Many medications look the same though, especially when they are generic. Always double check the label on the pill bottle when you are filling your pill box rather than just going by how the medication looks. The med planner also has the name of the medication in bold on the left hand side. Medications may have more than one name and sometimes the brand name will be listed on top with the generic name below or sometimes the generic name may be on top with the brand name below. On this med planner, the generic name Tacrolimus is on the top and the brand name Prograph is below. Just below that is how many milligrams or the strength of the pill. Medications are typically given at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. while you're at the hospital and you should try to continue this schedule after discharge if it works for your routine at home. In the middle columns, the med planner lists how many of the pills you should take each time for each medication. If the box is blank, it means you do not take a dose at that time. All the way to the right side of the med planner, it tells you what the medication is used for. And for some medications, it will tell you how long you will be taking it. Sometimes additional information is listed here as well. Many patients use this med planner as a guide to fill their pill box. Medications and doses change often, especially early after transplant, and this med planner can be a good tool to keep track of the changes in between clinic visits. If you like this med planner, it can be updated for you in the clinic and printed for you at the end of the visit. Please ask the transplant team if you'd like an updated copy. Additionally, you can create your own version by downloading My Med Schedule Plus, a free app from the Apple App Store or Google Play, to your mobile device. Other apps or computer programs are also available. Remember always to bring this list or another list of all your medications to each visit with your transplant team and other providers. This concludes the orientation to MedPlanner video.